All right, so I want to do a demonstration um, just showing you a professional looking table, how you guys can do it in Google Docs. Um, and again, you can do this very similar functionality in Word. Um, but again, just experiment with removing the borders, thickening some lines, removing grid lines, how it looks. Look to publications for examples. Um, so this one, I actually don't know if this will. Yeah, I don't know why that's this happened earlier because it won't open. But in any case, let me just show you a blank um, Google Doc. And generally, when you're creating a table, you just go to insert table and you choose the number of cells, right? So if you think you have a four by, maybe you think, okay, I think I have a four by four. And of course, you can always add more columns if you need just by highlighting and right clicking, inserting a row or a column or whatever you need to do. But you're going to have your column heading across the top usually. And then you're going to have like in here, you're going to have usually some data. So I'm just, I didn't want to do this with anything real. We'll just kind of show you the formatting. So um, to get that look that I was showing you guys, you can just highlight and you see this little arrow here. When you click that, you're going to see it open up with um, options for you to choose different borders. And I'm going to choose select the right border. And so now it's highlighted in blue. And there's two ways you can get rid of it. One is you can go over here and say border width and just go to zero point and it's gone. Uh, the other way you could do it is go into the color and turn it white and it's still there, but it's, you can't see it. Um, so different ways you can do it. And like I said, you, you probably, if you're gonna do this on one side, you're gonna wanna do it on the other. So we can just highlight that, go to zero point. Um, next, I wanna get rid of these, these vertical lines in the middle. So actually, if we just click like that, it's gonna highlight all of them. I'm gonna go to zero point. And now if you wanna put back in the one that's underneath your columns, cause it is kind of nice to have something there that tells the viewer what's underneath the column. Um, so I'll choose the bottom border there, and I can make this one a little thicker. Oops, that, that's a little too much, I think. So you guys can kind of like play around with this and decide um, what you feel like looks good, right? Um, you might, I think, I do like when the column headings are italicized. So that just kind of makes them stand out a little more. And then again, you're going to have your nice table one at the top. Detailed description of the study. You might put that in bold. Um, now, when you actually do this um, and, and submit to a journal or a grant or things like that, there are editors in place that may say to you, oh, we actually don't put our, you know, table caption um, in bold, say. And that's fine. They'll, they, they're not going to knock you for not knowing that. But you kind of dressing things up a little bit to start might just, you know, have it, have it look a little better. Um, another thing sometimes people do is, like, they'll put an asterisk at the bottom. And they'll say... Um, like they may have a note about some of the data on a different date. Like say, what I mean is like, say this data, these data were like a little different. You could, you could use an asterisk and you could put a little note at the bottom. Um, so you can use that to kind of keep it, but Again, I just think that looks uh, so much nicer in, in my opinion than if you just do, you know, the typical, boom, there it is. 